Hi, Kevin here. When I was a kid in the 1960s, my mother often made jello for dessert. And one of my favorite jello desserts was one that tasted exactly like orange sherbet. And all it involved was orange jello and cream cheese. So I'm going to make this for you today. And again, it tastes exactly like orange sherbet. So what you need is a three ounce package of orange jello, and then we're going to dissolve this in some boiling water. So this is three quarters of a cup of boiling water. And I just boiled it in the microwave. And then we're going to dissolve the jello in the water. And this is a three ounce package of jello. And it certainly has a bright orange color. I hope you can see this all right. And then you want to stir this for about two minutes or just until the jello is thoroughly dissolved. Okay. And I'll come back when this is ready. Actually, maybe I'll just talk with you while I'm stirring the jello. Yeah, so my mother was kind of the jello queen in the 1960s. Uh, if there was a family gathering, she made jello salad. If there was a church function, she brought jello salad. And some of these jello concoctions were downright weird. I remember one uh, involved, oh, what was in it? It was lime jello and it had coconut and marshmallows and I think little bits of pineapple. And I didn't like it because it, it reminded me of eating a hairbrush, okay? Probably because of the shredded coconut. Um, and she made another one with I think strawberry jello or maybe it was a lemon jello and it had thinly sliced radishes, little bits of celery. Uh, yeah, it was just really strange. So I, I didn't care for it, but I really loved this particular dessert just made with jello and cream cheese. And I made that dessert the other day uh, to serve with the cabbage steaks and eggs that I had made for dinner. And I filmed that video for you, so if you watched it, I'm sure you saw that dessert. And uh, one viewer, uh, her name is Jean Jennings, asked me about the dessert and how to make it, so that's why I'm making it today. All right, this is dissolved, so let me show you the next step. Yeah, if you grew up in the 1950s or 1960s or even 1970s, let me know if your mother did what my mother did and whether or not she made a lot of jello desserts. Okay, now uh, let me grab the jar of my blender. I thought I had everything ready to go here, but I did not. Sorry about that. So now what I'm going to do is put an eight ounce brick of regular full fat cream cheese into the blender. I'm using my Vitamix blender, but you could use, you know, any, any blender that you happen to have. And then add the dissolved jello. And the hot jello liquid is going to help the cream cheese to break up very quickly. Where's the lid? Okay, now I'm going to pop this on the motor and blend this very quickly just until the cream cheese is incorporated. fast. Okay, now, because I want the jello to set up quickly, I'm going to add 
some ice water. So what I did was put some ice cubes in this measure and then I added enough water to reach three quarters of a cup. Let's pour that in. And then I'm going to blend this just until I can no longer hear the ice bouncing against the walls of the blender. This is going to be really loud, so I'm going to start this and then I'll turn the camera off and then come back. All right, let's have a look at this. It's all done. So yeah, this is a super simple dessert. Super simple, super delicious. Okay, now I'm going to put this in a one of my Pyrex freezer dishes. I like these bowls because they come with a nifty lid. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it even looks like orange sherbet. Okay, put the lid on. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to mention. Hold on. In the 1960s, my mother would frequently add mandarin oranges to this configuration. And I loved mandarin oranges. They came in a can. They were packed in heavy sugar syrup. That's probably what I loved most was the heavy sugar syrup. Anyway, now uh, I guess mandarin oranges only come in these little plastic tubs and they are packed in fruit juice to avoid all of that sugar. I bought a couple of these and I opened one the other day and tasted of the mandarin oranges. I did not like them at all. So I'm not going to be adding the oranges to this, but if you want to, what you would do is just scatter them around the uh, jello and cream cheese mixture and then put the lid on and pop it in the refrigerator until the jello sets and that generally takes oh two to three hours maybe four hours tops okay so while this is setting up I'm going to scare up something for lunch and then I'll come back and show you what the salad looks like when it's all set up all right, I've been busy since the last time I saw you. Would you believe I made an entire dinner while that jello was setting up? And it is all set up now, so I'm going to have a taste, but not, I'm not going to eat too much of it right now because I don't want to spoil my appetite. So here it is, all set up. Smells terrific. Just going to have one scoop. And I think this jello deserves a crystal goblet. Now I need a spoon. Just a little taste. Mm. As I said, it tastes exactly like orange sherbet. Here's another relic from the 1960s. My mother never used this, but I sometimes do. Looks pretty. So good. Well, I hope you will give, whoops, too close. Well, I hope you will give this Super simple jello dessert to try. It really is wonderful. And stay tuned because I have a whole dinner that I film for you. And I will post that recipe tomorrow. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Take good care of yourself. Bye for now.